Subscribe to Hemper's Monthly Smoking Boxes and you'll never be caught needing to replenish your stash again. Hemper is hands down the best place to stock up on your smoking supplies, no matter the occasion. Curated with innovative and hand-selected products to ensure you're getting the absolute highest quality accessories for your smoking experience. Hemper's monthly subscription service provides $100 plus in value for only $40. There's also a convenient option to receive one every month, every three months, every six months, or yearly. Plus, MJ Bulls listeners get an additional 10% off Hemper box and the XL box with promo code MJBULLS10. So go to Hemper.com, type in promo code MJBULLS10 to get started. This is one of the beauties of blockchain, right? Is the relationship is with you. It's not a, to, and with a reseller or, or with the platform. It's actually the relationship is owned by you. So it really puts the creator in control of their financial. And so this is where we use network effects to cross promote brands and information. So Willie Nelson could collaborate with the Tall Tree Society yeah. to support small farms. And then everyone that follows Willie Nelson will then... From the Pod Connect Studios, high in the Rockies at the beautiful Beaver Creek Resort, it's the Raising Cannabis Capital Show. Today on MJ okay. Bulls, we are joined by Justin Calvino, the founder of EmeraldRoad.io. Justin, welcome to the show. Thanks, Dan. Thanks for having me. I'll tell you what, I'm glad that we finally, we're finally able to do this, and I'm really excited about your project in fact, uh, I recently joined Emerald Road Dotto, and which for our listeners is a crypto exclusive California lifestyle platform that leverages decades of local cultural experiences with emergent technology. And I'm going to just jump right into it, Justin. Entrepreneurs solve other people's problems. What problem or problems were you solving with Emerald Road Dotto IO? I think that when we talk about solving problems, when I saw that it wasn't just cannabis, the economic system is broken, technology is broken, communication is broken, communities are broken, and that we're all looking for the same thing, which is connection, authenticity, and we're looking for security, we're looking for value. Let's talk about how we as communities can support communities through technology and purchasing power. Let's talk about the world's shift and move towards e-commerce anyway. Let's look at the growth of Amazon. Let's look at the growth of streaming services. Where are we getting our entertainment? Where are we getting our goods? It's like saying that we have these beautiful magnet-driven rail cars from Tesla and we're trying to run them on the Chinese-built railroads. It just doesn't work. It's not going to connect us fast enough, not to the speed in which we're going. And as a hippie environmentalist, they could say, well, we could just stop the train. But I don't think that's going to happen either. No. So we get to build better infrastructure. And, and so I just fell in love with infrastructure development. And as a farmer and as a builder, like that's what I understood. So it went from solving one little solution to now I can't think of a problem that this wouldn't fix. <laughs> well, talk to us about the marketplace and how EmeraldRoad.io has a marketplace for these small craft growers and for people like me who would want access to their products. Tell us how that works. Yes. So when you go create your account, then you want to go peruse the site, go on to the site. When you click on the marketplace, it pops up another window, what looks like a cartoon village. And each one of the, the icons is a booth like a, a 10 by 10 pop-up tent that you would see at a festival or a farmer's market. So you would click on, let's just say, Tall Trees Society. And you click on Tall Trees Society and there pops up a, a profile similar to your Facebook page. And on that profile, on the header is a video that shows a picture of you know, Shane and Carson from Tall Trees. And, and you click on the video just like you would a YouTube video. And there's a little play icon, click the play, and it, and it 
introduces you there's shane and carson just like you were to walk up to them at a farmer's market they're talking about their product then the b-roll is the vision of their farm they're showing that their cannabis is growing they're showing their chickens they're showing goats tractors they're showing their sunset they're showing and then they're showing you their product and then they explain their product they explain the terpene content the flavonoid content they explain the testing data they explain the certifications associated with it awards associated with it and the feeling associated with it when you do consume their cannabis the video finishes you can go from their profile and shop direct from their booth just like any e-commerce site their shop is is, is associated with their booth it's just a little button you click on and you click add to cart and then those items then get in your cart and you can then click off of their site you can click on any of the other booths you can also go to let's just say you wanted to go do a yoga class you can click on the yoga or uh, the wellness village uh, yoga class breath work class movement class topicals and tinctures showcase for how to make your own hemp beauty products and each one of those is either live stream content or streamed co- or archived content associated with your account that you get for free, or it has an NFT value. So we use NFTs as utilities. You can become a member of that person. So let's just say MJ Bowles is one of those icons, mm-hmm. right? And you would live in the you would live in the education or university side of things, like the conference side, the podcasting side. Mm-hmm. But let's just say they wanted to click on MJ Bowles, and MJ Bowles had you had um, Andrew Huberman, you had Lex Friedman, you had Elon Musk, you had all these guys that are coming on, right? That are like what you'd call like A level, A list podcast content. You'd have those guys, right? at an NFT gold level membership. So anybody who paid the $250 to buy that NFT or maybe a thousand dollars, whatever you felt the value was, got access, a, a lifetime access or a year's access or however long you wanted to set the membership like to that content. This is one of the beauties of blockchain, right? Is that the relationship is with you. It's not in to, in with a reseller or, or with the platform. It's actually the relationship is owned by you. So it really puts the creator in control of their financial. And so this is where we use network effects to cross promote brands and information. So Willie Nelson could collaborate with the Tall Tree Society yeah. to support small farms. And then everyone that follows Willie Nelson will then know about Tall Trees. Mm-hmm. That's how Tall Trees becomes cookies. <laughs> they're in control of their market because they are making the relationships. And so this is a platform that allows for people to really have no holds back on how successful they can become and how big they can create. And Web3 and blockchain allows for that scalability so that's in, in, in communication. So, I mean, you've put so much of your own personal blood, sweat, tears, and cash into this project. It's really a testament to your passion. And you can just tell listening to what you're saying now. But this is a big project. Will you be raising additional funds to help you sort of break through all the clutter, all the noise? Yeah. So, I mean, my wife and I put about 500 so far. And a lot of this was like personal R&D work. But the big mistake that I made was I went into this thinking that because this is such a good, like, intention to build infrastructure for the next phase of the technological revolution, bringing community and people and doing all these, like, what I felt like good things, like this is going to be so good for people that Everyone else is going to agree and just jump in. And then all these people are telling me like, oh, yeah, like we just raised 27 million in the crypto space on an NFT project that had zero value. And here I'm like just compounding value with with like performas and all these things that show how much value can be created when this thing is turned on. I am wanting now for the right partner to believe in the project the way I don't have to believe in it the same way I do, but you know, I'm sure if there's a savvy individual who's listened to the 
you know, the communication so far, they'll know that this is far reaching beyond cannabis. That, that, that I'm betaing this thing in an industry I've spent 26 years in, but being very disciplined about and patient about launching the next one, but wanting to see where this thing can go. Well, cannabis is a great place for any idea because there's not a lot of competition from a mainstream corporate because they don't want to take a chance yet. So that's, it gives you and every other entrepreneur a chance to do things differently and not the same old, same old. And fortunately, I have to wrap the conversation up. But I, I think that just based on what you said, it if somebody was interested in these two sectors colliding, this is a perfect venture to participate in. And we'll have links to emeraldworld.io in the show notes. So if anybody wants to follow up with Justin and talk to him more about this, I mean, we just scratched the surface today. But this technology and this opportunity, I just think it's the beginning of something really big. And Justin, I know it's a big lift on your part, but I'm really glad that you did took the time to do this and committed your basically your whole family's future on this. I give you a lot of credit and I hope that somebody that's listening right now is the right partner. And like I said, the information's in the show notes with Justin. Thanks again for being on the show. Dan, thank you so much. And it was great, great, great being here. You've been a great host. And yeah, I look forward to more in the future. So uh, yeah, let me know how I can participate. Hey there, this is Cheryl Murray Powell Esquire, and I'm the host of the Terps in the City podcast. I am a cannabis agricultural dietary supplement and trade attorney. I'm also a hemp farmer, and I've been recently named to the list of High Times Magazine's top 100 influencers in cannabis. I'm inviting you to follow me along my journey as I move back to New York to support the adult use market there. You're going to get a chance to listen to conversations with some of my friends along the way. I look forward to seeing you at Terps in the City.